Hello there guys, what is going on? Son of Chelsea back here again for my team selector ahead of tomorrow's game against Norwich City at Carrow Road in the Premier League. Now before I start my team selector, it'd be cool if you guys can go and check out my preview I did for the game with Jack Ree from Talk Norwich City. Had a great discussion and it's something I'm hopefully going to be continuing to do on this channel, bringing on opposition fans, discussing their club, discussing the upcoming game. So definitely go and check out that video and also check out the video I did on his channel for the game. But my team selector um, for hopefully what will be Frank Lampard's first win as Chelsea manager. I don't want to say it's a must win game, but Lampard himself expressed that We've had 10 minutes, we've had 20 minutes in games, but now it's about that complete performance or, or getting close to that and uh, getting those three points and I think it'd be a great boost for the team. Now, what's interesting ahead of this game, there are some team news, there are some injury concerns as well. So I'll get into that with my predictions for the starting lineup. In goal, obviously, it's Kepa. Um, was unlucky not to keep a clean sheet last week. Couldn't really do much about the goal. Um, but of course, Kepa, the back four, Originally going into this recording before the um, the press conference I just watched from Frank, I was going to say that Rudiger would come into the team, but he did say he's not quite there yet, even though he did get minutes in the week for the development squad. So I'm going to stick with the same back two of uh, Zuma and Christensen. I thought they did look better, and, and I think I'm going to get better with more time playing together, which we continue to say on here. Um, so I think he'll naturally stick with that back two. Uh, of course, Emerson at left back. The midfield is interesting, I, and I think it's going to be something we'll continue going to continue to debate around the 4 2 3 one the 4 3 3 Now, I would like to see a 4 3 3 again. Um, and I think that control that we lacked in the second half against Leicester, I think can maybe be rectified, in my opinion, by a midfield three of Kante, Jorginho and Kovacic. Now, Kante is the big injury concern that Lampard expressed in his press conference. Uh, apparently, he has an ankle uh, injury and they're going to have to assess him. Now, fingers crossed, he is match fit. And as we have said before in, in relation to Kante's fitness, we are still only in the third week of the Premier League season. So we don't want to risk a longer term injury here. And with the international break coming up, um, it, it, it's something that Chelsea are going to have to monitor closely and sensibly, as well as the inclusion of Champions League football coming up soon as well. So, um, But hopefully he will be fit and if he is fit I think that would be my midfield three I think looking back to that Liverpool game where we did have that control um just not burning out too quickly and I think Kovacic definitely can allow that in a in a free um and has got the ability passing ability as well I think to do that now I did say in my predictor last week that I would like to see Mason Mount tried out on one of the wings I just think he's I want to see him start again. I think he deserves a start after the goal last week and Lampard said as much in, in his press conference so I think Mason Mount is a goal threat and deserves a start. So I'd start him on one of the wings and also I'd start Christian Pulisic again. Um, Pedro continues to start for Lampard and he's an experienced head. Willian has just come back as well. Um, Willian, I still think, is probably lacking match fitness. Um, he's had barely any rest, really. Um, has had to play Brazil in, in the Copa America, of course. And I, I dread to think has he even had like a month away from football. Um, so I think he'll still be coming back into fitness. But I'm sure Frank will want to utilise him. But I want to see Christian Pulisic start Again, I want to go with youth in this team, especially up front. And uh, Pulisic, I think, could be on the score sheet. So I want to give him the chance once again. And up front is the very interesting one, really, isn't it? Um, it's the one you sort of toss a coin, really. Mitchy Batshuayi scored two goals in the week. Uh, Lampard clearly wants him as part of his squad. Um, and a lot of us would like to see him be given a chance, but I don't think he'll start. Um, and then you have it between Tammy and Giroud. You're going to go with the youth of Tammy, who's been unlucky in some cases, or you're going to go with the experience of Giroud, who has been out of the three strikers or the two that have played, the one that scored the goal. So I'm going to go with Giroud. I just think he's an experienced head. Um, but as I say, it's a toss of God. I have to be completely honest with you. I think it, you every hour I'm flipping on who he's going to start because I think at the moment... We're not quite sure. And if Tammy comes into form and starts scoring goals, then I think Tammy will be the number one striker. Um, but I think Giroud at the moment is is that head that you can sort of trust to give a, a level of performance and has got the ability to score a goal as well. So um, And create chances and space and hold up the ball. But I think something Simon Phillips touched on in an article he wrote for Talk Chelsea was we're going to need to stick with one of the strikers. I know Lampard's adapting at the moment and absolutely we need time. He needs time to find out his best 11 and what that team is going to look like. But... Just in terms of week in, week out, changing strikers and it, it, it 
completely uh, disrupts the rhythm and where a striker needs to be for the attacking players, for the midfield players, knowing where a run that Giroud is going to make different to a run maybe Tammy's going to make. They're different players. Um, so getting that consistency, I think, is very important. But I'm going to go with Giroud. Um, so that is my team selector for the game at Norwich tomorrow. Let me know your starting 11 for the game tomorrow. I'm very intrigued to see. There's a lot of debate around this. And also, would you risk Kante um, considering his injury? Will he be fit or not? That's something we're going to have to find out. Um, if you did enjoy this video, guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell to never miss an upload. Also, give me a like if you did enjoy the video. Thank you guys as ever for watching this video. Follow me on Twitter at Son of Chelsea, and I'll see you again. Thank you.